In Stella, you have three basic tools. Astrometry, the positions of stars. Photometry, the brightness of stars. And spectroscopy, the spectra of stars. In this short how-to video, I'll introduce you to the first one, astrometry. Start and stop the video and follow along. It would be great if you actually do everything I do on your own computer. We'll start with Stella already open. The basic idea of astrometry is that you point your telescope at a star and record where it's pointing. Naturally, you record two coordinates, x and y. These are measured in degrees and are just like regular Cartesian coordinates. Since our patch of sky is 5 degrees on a side, the x and y coordinates are all between 0 and 5. If this were real astronomy, you might use right ascension and declination. In any case, we start here in the sky tab, just looking at the night sky. To point the telescope at a star, click on it. The green reticle, the diamond-shaped thing, moves and brackets the star. Let's look around the screen. The blue bar tells us that we're pointed at star S136, that we're not using any magnification, it's 1x, and the date, we can call it star date, is 2525.03. That's in years, that is, we're about 200 years in the future. The point at box also tells us we're pointing at S136. Orange wait buttons will let us skip ahead in time. Don't press them. Down at the bottom, you can see the X and Y coordinates of the telescope to six decimal places. Then we have orange magnification buttons. Here's the thing. Those X and Y numbers may have six decimal places, but they're probably not correct. So we will zoom in and take careful measurements. I'll click 5x to zoom in to 500% magnification, and then 30x to zoom in even farther. Notice that the star is no longer centered. To center it, I drag the sky and try to get the star to the middle of the reticle. That's good. Now I want to record the x and y position of the star. I do this in the results tab. This first line shows what star this is going to be a result for. The menu shows what measurement you're recording for star S136. Eventually, you should do all of these, but for now, let's leave it at position X. I need to enter the value for X in the box. The program displays the X value for the sky tab right here, so I just type it in. 2.469121. Okay, 2.46... Nope. 69121. That's for X. And I press Save. Hooray! I got, what is it, 95 points. If I had been too far off, it would have rejected the value. Now I'm going to do the same for the Y. I change it to Y and it's 3.803993. Okay, 3.803993. And I click Save. And look, I got level one in astrometry. It's kind of a badge. This is incredibly useful, as we will see in astrometry part two. You might also be wondering where those measurements got recorded and how to use them. That's in the next video as well.